All right, guys, this is Miss Miller. I just want to show you a new app that um, the school has purchased. It's called I Stop Motion by Boinks. And once you get it from the Land Rev, it's purple, got a little guy who's orange, and the letter B next to it. You want to click on it to go ahead and launch it. I've already started one, but to actually create a new one, I hit the plus key right here, plus button, and here's my new stop motion animation. Um, you want to make sure everything's set level with your camera to whatever you're shooting. Make sure you're not moving this around. The more you move this around, it's going to actually cause it to look like the ground is shaking. There's some kind of earthquake going around. Um, let's go over some of the basic um, settings here. Um, there is a gear, little gear right down here um, that gives you some of your speed, um, your frame rate, uh, a grid like the rule of thirds that we've talked about. Okay. Um, and also the playback speed, okay? All right, once you're done with that, um, camera at the top icon right here, little camera icon, if you click that, it's gonna say, are you on the back camera, front camera? You can also go to settings. You can adjust your um, focus, exposure, and white balance. Uh, focus is really about this symbol right here. Where are you actually focusing on? things around it may be a little bit blurry and that's something called depth of field and we'll talk about that more later. Um, exposure settings and your white balance there. Okay. Click done when you've adjusted those. Okay. It's really super easy. Click this button right here to go ahead and start taking your pictures. Um, this button right here is for playing. Um, there's a button right here for um, recording audio. They did say online it tends to crash a little bit. I would do that in your post-production work. Okay. All right, now I want to go back to my gallery because I have one that I've already started right here. And these are some dominoes that I took pictures of. You move it slightly, you take a picture. You move it slightly and take a picture. This is my timeline below here. Okay, if I want to, I on this particular frame, I can hit that. Um, I can delete a frame. I can delete all the frames. I can duplicate a frame. I can reverse the order of all 49 frames. Okay, all right, and then click off of it. So here I'm going to play. And then I'm going to stop. Okay. And that's how you use I stop motion. Thanks.